Welcome to Atticus. We're so excited to have you join our amazing community of Atticus authors. You have invested in a book writing and formatting software that is going to revolutionize your publishing process. With every piece of new technology comes a little bit of a learning curve, but we've done everything possible to make Atticus as user-friendly as it can be. In this very quick tutorial, we'll walk you through the steps of installing, uploading your manuscript, formatting it, and exporting it into Publish Ready files. This is just a quick start guide to give you the lay of the land, and we have many more tutorials for you to explore later on. But for now, let's dive in and get a quick look at Atticus. Once you've purchased Atticus, you'll receive an email to create your account. If you don't see it right away, try doing a search of your entire inbox, including folders like promotion, spam, and junk for the subject line, create your Atticus account, or the from email hello at atticus.io. Click the button that says get started with Atticus and it'll open up in your default browser. Now you can set up your password. Your login will always be your email address. Once that's done, you'll redirect to the main Atticus dashboard. You can use Atticus on any web browser of your choice by logging into app.atticus.io from any device that's convenient to you at the time. If you plan on moving between devices, it's important to remember to fully log out of Atticus on one device before logging in on your next device. This will force sync all your hard work and make sure it's ready to go on your next device. To completely log out, click the profile icon in the top right and then the log out link. You'll know you're successfully logged out when you've returned to the login screen. If you find working in a browser too distracting, you can also download and install an app version of Atticus. This will always be tied to your browser, but it will open in a standalone window. The app version is not compatible with all browsers, and we highly recommend using Chrome if and when possible. If you're logged into Atticus, in the top right, you'll see an install button. Click this to install and open the app instantly. Every device is gonna be a little bit different and depending on your operating system, browser and extensions, if this button is not working for you, you can also look in the browser bar to find a similar icon. It'll prompt you to install Atticus and again, open up the app automatically. If you're on a Mac, you may wanna move the file from your Chrome apps folder to your applications folder. On most Windows and Mac devices, you can also right click on the icon in your taskbar when the app is open and running and pin it there for easy access in the future. Your home dashboard will be simple to start, but will eventually fill up with any books that you've created or uploaded with the most recently worked on book showing up first. You'll always have the following options. Upload a book to import a document you've already started or completed. Start a book to begin a new book from scratch in Atticus or create a box set to compile previously formatted books inside Atticus into a box set. You'll always find a convenient link to our tutorials page if you need help with any writing or formatting feature or technique. If you want to start with a practice book, check out the link below to try Little Dog Ready. There will be a download option for you. As a important note, we do not recommend copy and pasting content from other programs into your Atticus book, as that can bring with it problematic hidden coding, which may cause trouble with the formatting. Whenever possible, we recommend either writing directly in Atticus or importing a docx file. Once you have a book or book started, like you see here, you can click on the three dots beside the title and timestamp to delete your book or duplicate it. If you scroll down the home page, you'll find your master pages gallery. Once you've created master pages, they'll appear here. You can click the thumbnail image to open and review the page, or you can click the three dots to rename the page, sync to all books, or delete the page. If you click see all to the top right of your book thumbnail images, you'll be brought to the My Books dashboard. From here, you can see all books and master pages, which we'll get into more later. To the right, you can search for a specific book by title or organize your dashboard by recently added, date modified, alphabetically, or the product or version. All details you set according to your needs and preferences. 
You can also view everything either in the default grid view or change it to list view if you prefer. When you're ready to work on a book, click on the title or cover from your dashboard. This will bring you straight to the writing page where you can dive into writing or adding to your manuscript. You have the left navigation pane where you can organize all your pages and chapters. The toolbar along the top offers all the text formatting tools you can use in your content. Along the bottom of the screen is the status bar where you'll see a variety of important informational points and tools. Your saving saved notifications, the ability to export to DocX, the sprint timer, and your word count. To the far right, we have more tools for your writing comfort. The editor settings allow you to set the preferences for the content editor. This is for your benefit while writing in Atticus. These settings will not export to the final version of your book. Only the formatting settings will influence your final product. There's also a find and replace tool, a place for you to set your goals and track your writing habits, and a smart quotes applicator. If you'd like to see the preview while you write, you can click the preview icon in the bottom right corner to open the preview panel. You'll now see your navigation panel on the left, your work in the center of the page, and a preview of what the chapter looks like on the right. You can add new chapters by clicking the add chapter button at the bottom of the left navigation pane, or you can add front or back matter pages by clicking the three dots and selecting what type of page you want. You can also drag and drop your chapters anywhere they need to be in the left navigation pane. You can save master pages or import chapters from additional docx files here. Once you're finished writing and editing, you can click formatting from the top center to start choosing your formatting preferences. You can either start from scratch or choose one of the Atticus design themes and customize it to your liking. You can customize and save all the following elements, including chapter heading, paragraph, subheadings, scene breaks, notes, print layout, typography, header and footer, and trim sizes. We have a complete step-by-step -step tutorial to help you design a unique theme of your own, along with many other helpful tutorials to help you master all the features Atticus offers. This is just a quick start look at everything that there's available. When you are ready to export your fully formatted book, you can choose from EPUB or PDF under the Previewer in the Formatting tab. The files Atticus exports are ready to publish using any major publisher, including KDP and IngramSpark. You can also click Edit Book Details in the top left next to your book's title for more export options. If you'd like a backup copy or a version of your manuscript to share with editors, you can also export to DocX here. Atticus is both a writing and formatting program, so the special features you add to the design elements of your book will not be recognized by Word, all the important content in chapter breaks, etc., will be exactly where you need them to be. This is perfect for an editor. Atticus automatically saves your work every few characters, but if you'd like an extra layer of protection, you can press the download snapshot button to force sync your book to our secure servers and download a JSON file, which can be used to restore your account if anything out of the ordinary were to happen. Also in the edit book details section, you can update various book and publisher details, as well as upload your ebook cover image. You can click the Atticus logo or home icon in the top left at any point to go back to your home dashboard. If you press the backup content or save button from here, it will force sync your entire account and the JSON file that downloads will be a backup of all of your books currently saved in Atticus. Clicking the profile icon and logging out of Atticus completely will also automatically backup your entire account and sync it to the cloud. If you've already formatted multiple books in Atticus and you'd like to combine them into a box set, this is an incredibly quick and easy process. From your home dashboard, click create a new box set. Select the books from your account that you would like included clicking in the order you would like them to appear in your box set. Click next and enter the details for your new box set. Atticus will compile all selected books into a single file for you. It will automatically generate front matter for the box set as a whole, but if you click the title of an individual book from the left navigation panel, you'll find each book also has front matter, including an individual title page, copyright page, and table of contents. 
You're welcome to keep or remove these details for each book as suits your box set needs. Using the left navigation pane, you can hide or show all the chapters for each book using the arrow next to the volume title. You can set your theme for the entire box set just like you would if working on a single book. Make any other small adjustments and then export the file into a single PDF or EPUB ready for publishing. For more tutorials and instructions, we have a variety of helpful resources to choose from, depending on your learning style preferences. The first step we recommend is our tutorials page. All the most common needs for Atticus authors are addressed here. We also have a YouTube channel and Facebook community with further live demos and community interaction. If you're still stuck, head over to our support page and send our amazing customer success team a message and they'll be glad to help. On behalf of the entire Atticus team, we welcome you and wish you all the best of success with your writing, formatting, and of course, publishing.